family now. Oh, damn, a family with money. Oh. I'm also a huge fan of The Meddler, and oh. so I was uh, I was like pleasantly surprised to see that motherhood is a big part of this movie too. And I, I wondered as you were putting the script together, how did this story kind of lend itself to those themes? Like, did it kind of feel like a natural thing to pull out of of the story? That's so funny because I. I don't know if anybody else has seen any parallels between the meddler and hustler, so I appreciate that. But um, yeah, I mean, motherhood is unlike anything else. I, I don't have children, but I am a daughter professionally, and, um, <laughs> and I have a very close relationship with my mother. Um, in so many ways, it feels like a thankless job, but I hope that's not true. I hope it. I hope the reward is is there, but there, it. These women who are these single moms, especially, they, they also have to be providers for their children. And I, I think people forget that, you know, moms also have to figure out how to make ends meet and survive. And, um, you know, the, the roles for men and women are, are so, I mean, the gender roles are so set in stone that we're trying so hard to, to chisel away at. But, um, yeah, I think... I think motherhood is a really important theme of this movie. I, I think it's a reason to, you know, if you're a polar bear, you want to save your your cubs, mm -hmm. you know. So I think, I think in that way, that was kind of where that fur coat came from, and and um, mm -hmm. it was was thinking of her as this mama bear, and and uh, Ramona as this mama bear, and she's got her baby bears, and and whether there is a you know, mother role with her friends or with her obviously her children. That maternal instinct runs through that the whole movie and really, really makes these women work extra hard mm -hmm. to survive. You know, when you have kids to take care of, it you, you need to. I just want to take care of my grandma. Maybe go shopping every once in a while. When I was a kid, I always wanted to work with animals. <laughs> I was close. I was wondering how much of when you've got the whole cast backstage, backstage within the film, yeah. are you kind of like willing, do you just kind of let them be themselves and, and experience these characters as they want, or is it is trying to run a tight ship? It's a little of both, mm -hmm. because I wanted to keep it alive and mm -hmm. have them talk over each other and make it feel like a real locker room. I mean, that you know, 15 of them all together. Yeah. and But you have people like Cardi B, and you have Jennifer Lopez, and you have Lizzo, and then you have real strippers, and then you have actors. So finding that way to have them all feel comfortable and, and have that camaraderie with each other. I mean, that was what I was so excited to capture in the locker room was the camaraderie between them because it's sort of where the sports movie takes place is mm -hmm. in that locker mm -hmm. room. And so um, it was really incredible to see them all slip into their roles and actually exist within the same movie, even though, <laughs> you know, they're all from different walks of life. And so... Um, to their credit, honestly, it was scripted and, and they played characters, you know, Cardi, as much as she improvised, she also did stick to a <laughs> script. So I, I found them all very impressive, actually, that, that they were all able to play in that space and keep the energy up, but still, you know, keep the movie grounded. 